Christopher Nolan fans. Dunkirk, the official trailer, first official trailer dropped a couple hours ago. What do you get when over 300,000 troops are stranded with a German front approaching? Well, I guess it depends on what perspective you're looking at it. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at this trailer. The first, the teaser, it was it was brief, but especially the end did a really good job of, of building tension. Oh man, it's freaky thinking about it. Like just hearing the hearing the uh, German fighters coming in. Anyway, let's uh, let's 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 take a look at Dunkirk official trailer one. They warned him? They dropped flyers on him, warned me? The enemy tanks have stopped. For surrender? Why? Why waste precious tanks when they can pick us off from the air like fish in a barrel? There are 400,000 men on this beach. I heard that some of the ground troops actually took down some of the planes. Is that true? Where are we going? Dunkirk. Cillian. I'm not going back. There's no hiding from this sun. We have a job to do. We go, they will die. It's getting into the whole civilian. Oh, that's awesome. see it from here what home <sighs> all right so it played out it played out more like a kind of a typical trailer it didn't have any it didn't build up tension like it um like the first one did there wasn't any emphasis on any one scene so it was more about just kind of showing off some basic plot points here um few few questions guys uh if you have the answers first it look well, not really questions, but just comments. The it looks like they're getting into, they're gonna spend a little bit of time on the actual, the rescuers, like the small boats and small fishing boats and all those kind of small commercial boats that came over. I read I read a little bit about it, um, but obviously there's a lot of knowledge gap here. Uh, some of those small boats that kind of came over and helped um, aid in the the rescue efforts that ultimately got three hundred over three hundred thousand of the Allied forces rescued so it looks like it's kind of cool that it's going to get into the kind of that side of the story as well it's not just from the soldier's point of view that's awesome it also looks like they are going to or part of the story i guess it would be expected but the halt order the the questionable order um that didn't actually come from hitler but the questionable order to stop advancing on the the position of the allied forces which allowed kind of room for the evacuation in the first place. So it looks like they're going to do some in-movie speculation on why they, why the halt order was issued in the first place. And it looked like it came out a little bit there. Why waste tanks when they can just pick us off with the planes? That's I'm really glad they're kind of uh, getting into that as well. So call me crazy, but I actually didn't know Tom Hardy was in this. I didn't. I had never kind of looked up the cast for it. It was just more about the story the story i knew i knew uh, mr murphy was in it but i wasn't i didn't i didn't know uh, mr hardy was in it I, I'm, I'm a fan so i mean the guy can act there was also an interesting shot i tried pointing it out uh, there was a, a couple shots of the soldiers kind of firing at the, the 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 german the german planes 
they took a couple of them down from what I read, right? Like they, it wasn't just kind of aerial allied aerial forces that assisted, but some of the, some of the ground forces took them out as well, I think. So that's, um, that's kind of badass. taking down a plane with your rifle. Ultimately, it's going to be a sad story, right? I mean, a lot of people died and spoiler warning, spoiler warning. Like 30,000, 30,000 of them were left there and ended up sur- sur- uh, surrendering to the Germans. I don't actually know what happened to those 30,000 soldiers. I don't know. It's going to get into some it's going to get into some kind of sad sad territory. I mean, the whole thing is kind of uh, war itself is kind of sad territory. Anyway, let me know what you guys let me know what you guys think about the uh, the first official trailer for Dunkirk. Did it meet your expectations? Were you expecting more? I got a mess. I was expecting. I was. I don't know what I was. I actually don't know what I was expecting. I think this is. I think this is the kind of movie where trailers aren't going to do it that much justice. It only could do it justice in the way that the teaser did it justice, is and build up tension on a very particular thing. Like I don't think it's going to long form trailers are going to work as well. I think you're going to actually have to watch this movie. But let me know. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree. If you guys disagree, then yell as loud as you can in the comment section. Use all caps. Either way, I am excited for this movie. I am a Christopher Nolan fan, and I do not doubt for a second that uh, he will treat the he will treat the the um, the Dunkirk uh, story with respect and the proper care and and kind of tell it maybe even from both sides or all the sides because there's more than two sides um to that story all right guys let me let me know what you thought and uh, i appreciate you guys watching uh subscribe if you want give it a like if you guys enjoyed it otherwise yeah leave it leave a comment either way and i will uh i'll check you guys at the next reaction